Using Django and Wagtail together is advantageous because it combines the power of a versatile web framework with the simplicity of a user-friendly content management system. Django provides robustness, security, and a vast ecosystem of libraries, while Wagtail streamlines content management, making it easy to create, organize, and update website content. This winning combination empowers developers to build efficient and user-friendly websites and web applications. In this tutorial, we will explore the powerful combination of Django and Wagtail, showcasing their exceptional capabilities through an example inspired by the renowned book, Django 4 by Example, 4th edition. The book, Django 4 by Example, 4th edition, offers an incredibly engaging, an enriching experience for developers interested in mastering Django and exploring its full potential. The book takes a practical, hands-on approach, providing detailed examples and step-by-step -step tutorials that guide you through building real-world projects. This approach ensures that you gain valuable experience and understand how to apply Django concepts in practical scenarios. If you're eager to dive into the details and follow along, you can find the book's link in the description below. Let us commence with the initiation of this instructional session. In the examples in this book, we will use Python 3.10. If you're using Linux or Mac OS, you probably have Python installed. For Windows users, an available option involves obtaining a Python installer, which can be acquired through the provided hyperlink located within the description section. Confirm the presence of Python on your system by entering the subsequent command within the shell prompt. In the event that you encounter output resembling the following, it signifies the successful installation of Python on your computing device. check whether Django has been installed. Run the following command in the terminal. Upon receiving the output of 4.0, you can conclude that the installation of Django on your system has been accomplished. Conversely, encountering the message no module named Django implies the absence of Django on your machine. Django is structured as a Python module making it adaptable for installation within various Python environments. If Django remains uninstalled, the subsequent line represents a singular command for its installation via the utilization of pip. Prior to embarking on the installation of Wagtail, it is prudent to verify whether it has been previously installed on your system. In the event that Wagtail has not been installed, we shall now advance with the process of installing it. Wagtail's significance in our undertakings is poised to be quite substantial. Just type this command in your terminal. Create a new Wagtail project using the Wagtail start command. And we will name our project Newspepper. Adding a period after the project name is not a standard practice in creating a Wagtail project. If you have already started a project with the period in the name, you can continue working on it. However, if you're starting a new project, I would suggest using a project name without a period for better consistency and compatibility. Run the database migrations to set up the initial database schema.
Create a super user account to access both the Wagtail and Django admin interface. Start the development server to see the default Wagtail site and admin interface. When you run the development server in Wagtail and access it through your web browser, you will see a Wagtail welcome page that displays the name of your project and offers links to the admin interface, documentation, and other resources. When you access the admin interface, you will be prompted to log in. You'll use the super user credentials you created earlier during the create super user step. After logging in, you'll be taken to the Wagtail admin dashboard. Here, you can manage your site's content, create and edit pages, manage images and documents, customize settings, and more. To access the Django admin interface, you need to append Django Admin to the root URL of your development server. You'll be taken to the Django Admin dashboard. This is where you can manage various aspects of your Wagtail project, including users, groups, models, and more. Remember that the Django Admin interface provides tools for managing the backend of your application, including database records and configurations. The Wagtail Admin interface, on the other hand, is more focused on content management and is built on top of Django's admin. By accessing both the Django admin and the Wagtail admin, you'll have full control over your project's backend and content management capabilities. This time, we're venturing into the models file of the home application. It's like opening a treasure chest filled with endless possibilities for creating your own data structures. But hold on a sec. Before we get all creative, let's tidy things up. You see, there's this default home model that's cozying up to the Wagtail page class. But guess what? We're feeling rebellious and don't really need it. So, let's bid it farewell and make space for our own genius. We define a new Django model class named Post. This class will inherit properties and methods from the model class, which is the base class for all Django models. Then we create a field called Title to store the title of our newspaper post. The models.char field class represents a text field with a maximum length of 50 characters. We add a slug field to hold a URL-friendly version of the title. Slugs typically contain only letters, numbers, hyphens, and underscores. The models.slug field class is used with a maximum length of 50 characters. We create a field named body to store the main content of your newspaper post. The models.text field class is used for larger blocks of text. We define a method that determines how instances of the post model should be represented as strings. In this case, we are returning the title of the post when a string representation is needed, which is useful for displaying posts in admin views and other contexts. Create a publish field to store the date and time when the post is published. The models.dateTime field class is used. An auto now add equals true ensures that the field is set to the current date and time when the post is first created. We add created and updated fields to track when the post was created and last updated. These fields are created using models.dateTime field. <laughs> We 
We use the meta class to provide metadata for the model. The ordering attribute specifies that by default, query results involving this model should be ordered in descending order based on the publish field, showing the latest posts first. If you're curious about the magic behind meta classes in Django, check out my video. The link is in the description. It's a quick trip into the coding enchantment that gives you ultimate control over your models. Now, we establish a relationship between the post model and the built-in user model. This foreign key field named author associates each post with a specific user. Beyond delete equals models dot cascade parameter ensures that if a user is deleted, their associated posts are also deleted. The related name allows you to access a user's posts conveniently. It is now opportune to embark upon the task of crafting and incorporating all pertinent models within the administrative interfaces of both Wagtail and Django frameworks. Our initial focal point shall be the administration file within the Django ecosystem. In this context, I shall leverage the currently authenticated browser session within the administrative interface to vividly elucidate the steps and actions I am undertaking. We initiate by importing essential modules from the Django framework. We then proceed to declare the registration of the post model within the Django admin. The subsequent class definition, post admin, configures various aspects of the administrative interface for the post model. The list display attribute determines which fields are exhibited in the list view of the admin interface. Feel free to proceed by incorporating a few posts within the admin interface, allowing for a first-hand observation of the applied modifications and their resulting effects. The prepopulated fields attribute automates the population of the slug field based on the input in the title field. The ordering attribute arranges the list view in descending order of publication date. Furthermore, the list filter attribute endows filtering options, permitting administrators to narrow down content based on creation date and author. The search fields attribute enables a search mechanism that scans through the title and body fields.
In this manner, the code snippet orchestrates the fine-tuning of the Django admin interface for the POST model, enhancing its usability and efficiency for administrative tasks. The model admin module allows you to add any model in your project to the Wagtail admin. You can create customizable listing pages for a model, including plain Django models, and add navigation elements so that a model can be accessed directly from the Wagtail admin. Simply extend the model admin class, override a few attributes to suit your needs. Register it with Wagtail using an easy one-line model admin register method, and you're good to go. Your model doesn't need to extend page or be registered as a snippet. It is now time to delve into the practical demonstration of utilizing the Wagtail model admin. In the initial step, it becomes imperative to incorporate the model admin within the installed application by adjusting the configuration settings. Start the server again. Time to remove this error in our settings. Open the Wagtail admin on this ULR. Observing the current state of affairs, it becomes evident that our post model is conspicuously absent from the Wagtail admin interface. This serves as the catalyst for our imminent undertaking rectifying this absence and seamlessly integrating the post model into the Wagtail administrative realm. Let's proceed with the process of creating a Wagtail underscore hooks.py file within the home application. By placing functionalities within the wagtail underscore hooks.py file, developers can wield a remarkable degree of influence over how content models, views, templates, and other components interact within the wagtail ecosystem. This file essentially serves as a bridge between the core functionality of wagtail. Start by importing the necessary modules from the wagtail framework. Define a custom admin configuration class for the post model. Register the post admin configuration to take effect. Specify the model that this admin configuration applies to. Define the base URL path for this admin configuration. Set the label displayed in the admin menu for this configuration. Choose an icon to represent this configuration in the admin menu. 
Set the order in which this configuration appears in the admin menu. Determine whether to include a link to this configuration in the settings menu. Decide whether to exclude this configuration from the explorer menu. Determine whether to include a link to this configuration in the admin menu. Specify the fields to be displayed in the list view of the admin interface. Define the fields that can be searched using the search bar in the admin interface. Specify filters that can be applied to narrow down the displayed content. Set the default ordering of the items in the list view. If the server remains inactive, please proceed to restart it. Following this, refresh your browser to observe the updates we've implemented for the registration of our model within the Wagtail administrative interface.